I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. And the program is coming to you from my Deepak home base in uh, New York City. My very special guest uh, this moment is George Kell. George is the executive director of the UN Global Compact. Once again, the executive director of the UN Global Compact. So before we get there, I want to know a little bit about you as a person. So you grew up in Germany. In southern Germany. I started in West Berlin when the city was still divided. Then I went to uh -huh. Africa in 82. I spent a couple of years. That's where I learned my English from an Irish man in Tanzania. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> then I tingled around as how, financial How analyst. did that happen, though, going to Africa? And uh, I... It's complicated, personal, you know? Yeah. Like you, you're in love with somebody who convinces you of doing something, then you do it. Uh, uh, and then I tingled around the world as financial analyst. Uh, I was trained as an engineer and a scientist. And then I came across the United Nations and found the idea actually very attractive. And I joined the United Nations. When and, uh, did you do that? In the late 80s, early and 90s. in what capacity? Uh, through the competitive exam, so to speak. I started as economic affairs, but then I got soon obsessed with overcoming what I call old ideologies because the UN was still kind of suffering from the legacy of the Cold War. You know, the world is either here or there. Uh, and I always found, why not pragmatism? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And here's the business world that is driven by long-term and short-term incentives, which are non-ideological. So my mission really has become, uh, in my tenure with the United Nations, to, to build strategies to engage the business community with UN goals. Yeah, which is where you are now, but right. it's still a journey, right? Right. I was lucky enough then to work for Kofi Annan directly, uh -huh. who told me, look, uh, I'm going to the World Economic Forum, but only if you do me a really good speech. <laughs> I see, so you wrote the speech. And I wrote a speech called The Global Compact, and it was a mega hit, so to speak, I made the front pages of all newspapers around the world. And it was just intended to be a speech, you know, nothing but a speech. Mm -hmm. But then CEOs and uh, ministers came back and said, look, great fine words, you know, business should take on more responsibility, embrace universal principles in the area of human rights, workplace conditions, the environment, and anti-corruption. It's great to talk about it, but why don't you do it? Mm -hmm. So we started building a real initiative in the year 2000, Initially, only 40 companies. And were, the initiative was called the Global Compact? Yes, we, the speech was called the Global Compact Initiative. Mm -hmm. And then 40 companies were willing to come to the United Nations and to take a stand on these issues, saying, yes, we recognize that as we have gone global business and governments remain local, it's important that social, environmental, and governance issues are also being taken care of. Mm -hmm.